Well, good morning. It's been a beautiful weekend. Uh, I watered a bucket garden, so I figured I'll give you guys a quick peek at it. It's progressing well. All last week we had rain. It was like tropical weather, so boy did everything grow, including the grass. <laughs> yeah, this weekend mold and trim the grass. Kind of spared you seeing that on the video. But just watered uh, the plants. And I'll give you a quick update. Things are really well. The cucumber plants I was worried about have snapped out of it. Uh, I got all kinds of blooms, so looks like I'm going to have some cucumbers this year. So let's take a look. Yeah, look at those. Did they take off? Them cucumber plants, they just... Reaching for the sky. Beautiful yellow blooms. Look at that pretty. Yellow flowers on them. So yeah, they... Uh, they've really taken off. I may actually remember red bell peppers. I have, this is the fourth year again of this trying to grow vegetables in five gallon buckets. And I never had good luck with bell peppers and I love them. Well this is all bell peppers. And I may actually get some this year. As you can see, boy there's a tiny pepper. So that's what I'm attempting to grow in these buckets. A lot of little buds, flowers starting. So yeah, that might be my first bell pepper. Hope that little guy gets bigger. Banana peppers now. I've always had good luck with banana peppers. And here's proof. Here's their sweet yellow banana peppers. In fact, some are getting close to pick. Look at that. So the, I got three plants with banana peppers. So those are the peppers, plants. And uh, they've done well. <laughs> They're doing well. Look at Look at that one. Wow. He's almost ready to pick. You got some good yellow peppers there. Just keep a close eye on them. Want to get them white are still good. And then this bell pepper plant, or not bell, banana pepper plant. It's loaded. It's getting ready to come along. I never grew broccoli before, but those plants are really taking off. So we'll see how they do. Now the dollar store seed challenge. Yeah. Look at the pea pots. Goodness, they're really reaching. I didn't think I'd get any green onions, but they're starting to come along. Kohlrabi, I didn't think I'd get any. I didn't thin it out. I don't know if I'll get any because I didn't thin it out, but yeah, there might be some in there. Those plants are crazy. Now this was radishes, and I think it's also weeds. You know, I'm not a gardener, but I don't think that's a radish plant. You know, could this be a radish plant? Look how thick that is. Look how tall it is. You know, the radishes bloom out when they seed. I may have some volunteers in there that are not radishes. So I want to have to kind of dig in there one of these days and see what the heck's in there. Holy cow. 
Yeah, that's the radishes. Or it might just be a a seed of a bunch of weeds. <laughs> Maybe there ain't a radish in there. I'm just watering and growing weeds. And then these were plants. They weren't part of the dollar store challenge. There are some cabbage plants there. And two kohlrabi. And man, one of these is getting close to harvest and pick. Let me see if I can get in there and let you see a look of it. Look at that one. Whew. Gets a little bigger. It'd be a little too tough. That one. Boy, I may, I may have to pull those and enjoy them, and then maybe I'll transfer some of the other kohlrabi plants into this bucket. We'll see how the day goes. That might be something I'll do. The next row are my bush beans. And as you can see, they're, they're bushing out. They're really climbing up there. You'd think they're pole beans. But they're doing well. No green beans yet, but the plants are thriving. Yep. I don't think it'll be long. You can see little flowers. Now this is all cherry tomato plants. Look at this. Here we go. I'm six foot five. Yeah, these are on stands, but man, these things are like trees. This one's about right here about my height, but man, this is like the Shaquille O'Neal cherry tomato plant. This thing is tall. Oh, are there cherry tomatoes? <laughs> Absolutely. Are they red? Not yet. As you can see, they're starting to get loaded up. There's some. There's some. Here we got a bunch. Got a bunch of them in there. We got them there, there. This plant cherry tomatoes cherry tomatoes wow cherry tomatoes cherry tomatoes so these were let's see large red cherry tomatoes so they're coming along fine so Watered them, quick garden update. Ah, uh, can't come. I mean, it's going well. Don't know what that bunch is over there. There may not be a radish in there. I just might be watering weeds all summer long. I'm gonna have to investigate that. A dollar store must have pulled a fast one on me. I bought a dollar's worth of weeds to grow in a bucket. So, beautiful, beautiful weekend. It rained all weekend. This weekend is cool, no humidity. Uh, yeah, beautiful blue sky. So I'm going to go around and water the flowers. I'm not sure. I might just kind of relax because next week I start full-time work. So... So I watch everyone's videos, try to leave comments. I saw where Papa, uh, he, uh, you know, went hunting for snakes with his 22. I'm not a big snake lover myself. In fact, I just like snakes so much, I wouldn't take a little 22. I'd be afraid I'd miss and they'd chase me. Uh, I don't even think I'd hunt for them, I'd kind of run from them. Also, the uh, Wally 66, you know, working on that riding mower, that kind of reminded me. I left a comment about, man, maybe you'd be better off, you know, 
remember the simple days of the push mower, the old reel, you know, the open reel system. I'm sure OSHA really liked those. But I can remember as a kid, my grandfather, he had an old push reel. He also had one that was motorized, but that was really dangerous. So I was only nine, you know, so he didn't want me to use the power one. He was afraid I'd get my feet in there or arm or something. But I could use the old manual push one. So boy, I'd mow his yard with that push mower. Boy, you talk about a workout. You know, that was free of charge. I didn't have to join a gym. I just had to, the, but I got a treat. You know, when it was all finished and done, I got some lemonade and he always had fresh rhubarb. And so I got some fresh raw rhubarb and a little bowl of sugar to dip it in. And we would sit on the porch and swing. And then he would bring his mandolin out and play it for me. And vivid memories, you know, I'm so fortunate to have that experience. But that push mower, yeah, it, it cut the grass. When we uh, purchased this house, it's 125 years old, in the cop house we found an old real push mower. And the kids played with it for a while, not long. They were like, wow, Dad, I can't believe you cut the grass with these. And so what we ended up doing, our little town has a heritage museum. So we donated it to the museum. And it's sitting in the museum right now. <laughs> but we'll let you go. That's a little garden update. I think I'm going to have me some kohlrabi transplant some kohlrabi plants and might start seeing are those weeds or are those radishes we'll talk to you later bye